Hello guys, today I'm interviewing Will Jones and it's, it, well, it's fight day for Jordan Perkis, Kate, Kate um, Harley, Ben and what other one of your fighters? There's someone else. No, I've got, I was billed to have six on tonight, but I've got five on. Um, we yeah, because Kevin's a... fight got cancelled, that's all. Up an opponent for Kev last minute, so we're going to put Kev onto the 30th of July now. But we've got Jordan Perkis, uh, D. Allen, Kate Vodomska, Harley Ben, and Horia Truth. Yes. So, um, so, so and there's, I think, um, there's five fighters and then two other fights. So, yeah, Jack yeah. Martin and another fight. Jack Day is on as well. Oh yeah, Shaq Day, yes. Do you um I think um Kate's fighting in an eight round fight, isn't she, against Gemma Rugg? Yeah, yeah, that's a it's a good fight. It's a good fight, a good step up for Kate. It's a fight Kate needs. Um eight rounds. And hopefully this can get her after this fight, get her in a position where we could start challenging for titles because Kate's uh, progress since the first fight has been unbelievable. Only I couldn't ask for better, so Let's try and see if she can do it, uh, get a 50-50 fight out of the way and push on from there. Yes. Isn't it eight rounds? Eight rounds. Eight. Yes. Um, it, it, is this like a title eliminator? Possibly. We'll see what we can do after. Hopefully, we can get something after. Um, yes. Is, um, what, what time do you think, like, the first fight will be? The first fight will be around 7.30, I reckon. So, which one of your fighters, like, are fighting first? Or your Triff, my Romanian. Romanian slash Swiss boy. Very, very, very good amateur. Had over 100 fights, been to the World Games and that, and uh, come over here. Sadly, he had to debut. He had to do his debut in his home country, and then he came back to And uh, we've been working together since. Tori is a very, very good talent. Very, very calm, relaxed. Tom spied him, isn't he, Tom? Yeah, he's very relaxed. He's uh, very unorthodox. He's hard to hit. His head movement's impeccable. You can't really mimic him. He's um, he is definitely, definitely a stand-up performer. Yeah, so he's. He, I'm excited for Horia. First fight on English soil. Yes. So, so has he? Has training gone well for him? Yeah, it has really gone well. So Horia's had some good tough spars. We've been taking him up to Archie Sharp for rounds. He's done some rounds with Dennis. Um, been doing some rounds with Tom, Jordan, and him mix up. He's been mixing up with ID Hill as well. Um, Adam Mohammed. So he's, he's he's definitely getting around in. So yes, we'll see. He's sparring fight, Mark, but we'll see. Because Idris is fighting um for the southern area soon. Yeah, I think ID's in three weeks' time. Yes, he is against Dennis. Um, I can't pronounce his surname. De Denijakov, is that right? Yes, that's it. Yes. See, Dennis Denijakov is a very very tough fighter. We've had him down for sparring. He's a very, very good fight. I really, really rate him. So, who do you yeah. think wins that? I've got to go with my boy. I think he's in my gym for a reason, so I've got to back him. But yeah. uh, not to be underestimated, this Dennis Denjakov. Yeah, because that's a big card. So, is ID headliner, or do you not know? If so, I believe he is the headliner event on that. Is he? Because there's lots of title fights on there. Adrian Martin on that show as well, I think I've seen, right? Yes, the Dalton Miller. Yeah, so that's a good fight as well. And then Jack Hughes v Paul Roberts, Southern Area, super flyweight. It's, oh, that's interesting. Because Jordan says he wants to fight, the, uh, Jordan Perkins said he wants to fight the winner. Yeah, I'm quite confident um, Jordan beats both of them. I'm yeah, very same. Confident. I'm very confident in Jordan, so um, I'm confident he beats both of them. So, yeah, we'd look, we'd look to fight the win 100%. Yes. Well, 
Jordan's got a big fight tonight against Jack Dyer. Is Jordan ready for it tonight? Yeah, Jordan's more than ready. See, we was billed, Jordan was billed to fight um, a few weeks back. But obviously there's a cancellation in the show, so we've been moved on to this card. So Jordan's more than ready. Jordan's so fixed in his training, he's written down every sparring he's done. We've had Will Crawley, we've had Tom, Tom himself again, Horia. Jordan, he's just sparred Jake Hughes. He's sparred round after round. And he's written he said everything. he sparred Casey Kadimi as well. Sparred Casey Kadimi. Um, is it Ramez Mahmood? Yes, that's it. Rams Mahmood, yes. Yeah, so he's had, he's had round after round. And Jordan's like, he's the perfect pro to train. You couldn't ask for a better person because he... He's so regimented in his stuff. He's, he's got the discipline of the Kazakhstan boys that I used to have. Yes. I watched them. Um, was it O'Hara Davis who fought? Was it last week? Yeah, two weeks ago. Yes. Was it against Alex Rapp? Uh, Alex, no. O'Hara uh, fought Alejandro something. Yes, but I remember he's... his second name. Good for that. He stopped him, didn't he, in round eight, was it? Round eight. Yes. He was asked in that fight. Um, stuck to the jab. Slowed this, this guy fights at a very high pace, so what we wanted to do was nullify the pace. So I felt the stiff jab would do that. A good stiff jab, kill this guy's pace, make him a bit hesitant for movement, keep his hands up and tight. Um, he, did, he did just that. I would have liked to have tried to get him out earlier. We dropped him, dropped him a body, uh, body left hook, body left hook head. They put him down, and then our receiver red, and then put him away. Very, very. I'm well happy with our performance because he listened so well in that fight. Yeah, is does does that mean O'Hara is going to go for titles again? I think so. I think we're on route to either a world title or a world title eliminator next. I believe it's we'll either be fighting Lewis Ritson. Or Sandal Martin, we've got to talk to the management and talk about the route we want to go. Also, big fights. Yeah, very big fights. Sandal Martin is a very, very, very good underrated fighter. Um, I think he's one of the best in that division. Um, and Lewis Ritson, there's going to be fireworks if they fight. Yes, but I, I reckon O'Hara will catch them both off guard. Well, yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Because O'Hara's only lost to um, Catterall and Josh Taylor. That's right. That's right. So Josh Taylor stopped him and Catterall, very, very close decision. It could have argued to go either way. Yeah. Were, were you his trade? How long have you trained O'Hara? I've had O'Hara for four, or four fights now. Oh, so you, you weren't his trainer when he fought um, Taylor and Catterall? No, I wasn't his. I wasn't his trainer for any of them fights. Sadly, who was his trainer for them fights? For the Taylor fight, he was with, I believe, he's with Tony Sims, and I believe for the Catterall fight, maybe Tony Ciso. Not too sure. Not oh. too sure. I'm sure. In, um, if you were in his corner, you would have made the difference. Fingers crossed. I feel like I've got a good relationship with O'Hara. We're, we're friends and he's my, my fighter as well. So, and we work well together. We've had some clashes, as everyone does, but we work well together. So, but I'm not putting myself on them trainers' levels just yet. Wait yeah. till I get my couple of champions first and then I will. I, you were at, I think Nathan's uh, Mizon's fighting tonight, isn't he? Mizon's fighting, yeah. He's got Chris Adderway tonight. Nathan and a bad friend of ours. Yes. Chris Adam. What, why are you... Um, so who's in Nathan's corner as you're not in his corner today? Barry, Barry, his coach. He's, um, he's Nathan's main trainer. I just helped out Barry for one fight. Barry's a good friend. So I went down there to help him for one fight. I like Nathan. Him and Sonny get some really good work and good spars in. So um, it'd be, yeah, yeah. I, I, I always support Nathan in his career. He's a good, good guy. Oh, yeah, because Sonny's fighting um, against Chris Adderway as well. 
booked against Chris Adderway, yeah. We, on the 16th of uh, July. Uh, yes. Uh, on Hampton's undercard. I thought so, Lennox Clark was main event. Uh, I think he is. I think he is. I'll, I'll say Hampton because I know Hampton. That's why I said it. I think oh. Main event. Yeah. Hamza's a good fighter, though. Hamza's unbelievable. A very, very good talent. And he'll, he'll win a world title at his midweek. I know, but people... Um, I mean, his last performance, was it against Jezza Smith? Yeah. yeah. That was a great performance from him. Very come, come forward the way he comes forward. Hamza, I don't think people realise how hard Hamza punches. Like he's very, very good. I took when I when I coached Hamza for a while, he, we took him on the road sparring, and the kid's power is phenomenal and his range. Like he he doesn't need to, he, he can fight well inside, but he doesn't need to be inside at all. He can, he can enjoy himself and have himself an easy night. Yes, when you were at um in Nathan's corner. Were you yeah. were you happy with Nathan's performance? Yeah, do you know what? I've um, I've known Nathan and Barry a long time, and every every fight, I feel like um, Nathan brings more, brings more to the table. Definitely, he listens to Barry. They've got a good relationship. Their relationship is quite similar to me and Sonny. Me and Sonny are very close. Like, I look at him like my son, and uh, they're very they're very close. So it's um, it's good to see him. Nathan does he does really listen to Barry as well. Yes. So do you think Nathan wins tonight? Yeah, I think I've, I've got a funny feeling Nathan's going to stop him. You think Nathan will stop Chris Adderley? Nathan will stop him. I really do. And then that ruins our fight. We have to find another opponent. Because if Nathan stops him, then you will need to find another opponent for Sonny. Yeah, we'll have to go... Uh... I have to ring up the matchmakers and say, come and look who we got. Yes. But we'll see about that because that's an int- that's interesting. You were cheer- I saw you cheering Reese Bellotti on against uh, Dean Dodge, was it? Who was that? Uh, same night as Nathan. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I like Bellotti. Have, have you trained Reese? No, I never trained him, but uh, I just like I just like his style of fight. Like, yeah, uh, so I, I, I fought, fought for the style. We've got like uh, a few styles that I like. I, I studied a fighter. There's a lot of active fighters now I study as well. Yes. I think uh, Bellotti's the Southern Area champion now. Yes, you're right. Yes. When do you think, like, any of your fighters are going to push on to titles? Um, like I said, I've still done one more fight maybe after this or, or maybe the next fight will be Southern Area or an Eliminator. I think D. Allen is ready for a title fight now. I think she's Who's very... fighting tonight, D? How do you fight? Oh, because she, she got a big knockout last time I saw. Two fights, two KO wins. Yeah, but her, the one on this, um, her second fight, I was very impressed with. Yeah, she's got, uh, she's got a very strong right hand, thing. But tonight, I want to. I've asked her to show us something different. Yes, but do you do you think that she'll get the knockout tonight, or do you? We'll see. Uh, I'm confident in the stoppage. But I won't be disappointed if D gets rounds either, because we need the round. Rounds are valuable. Yeah. Especially uh, with Kate getting eight rounds in against an opponent who's going to come to win tonight. Exactly. That's it. Because, do you know what? This, that's the best thing about these two girls that I've got. They made their debut on six rounds. So, no time's been wasted with these girls. So, they're well- they're getting the uh, experience they need. So they're both ready. I think they're both ready for good, tough fights. And I think this fight tonight for Kate is a real fight or flight fight for us. So it'd be interesting to see how it goes. I'm, I'm very for me, it's going to be fight of the night. I've said it to everyone. Everyone who spoke to me today, I've said, I'm telling you, the girls are going to be fight of the night. I think you're right, man. 
I, I reckon Jordan stops uh, Jack Dyer. Do you think Jordan gets the stoppage? I'd like to say, yeah. Do you know what? Jordan's got... We was, we was billed for a six rounder. We asked for an eight. We were billed for a six. Now we're doing a four rounder. So Jordan's definitely. I wouldn't be shocked if he did, but it's a Jack Dyer. It's very tricky. Yes, Jack Dyer is um, only lost to three tough boys. Exactly. So um, it'd be interesting to see how it goes. Yeah, but I, I reckon Jack Dyer is going to have a real go tonight. I think so as well. I think he's going to come and have a fight with Jordan. And I think I wouldn't be surprised if that nicks the fight and off, off the girls. It's a shame it's only four rounds. Yeah. I wanted it to be at least 6 8 because I, I, that could be fight of the night. There's, there's lots of good fights. That was the sixth rounder. That would have been brilliant. Yeah. But if Jordan like, gets the rounds in, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Jack Dyer's never been stopped before. Good tough fight. Very good tough fight. And He's I, I never was... been dropped, I don't think. Ah, rounds are valuable. People don't realise how valuable. Yeah. Is Har is Harley Ben um um in a six rounder? Oh, Harley's yeah, Harley's doing a four rounder. I think on trick it's six, but he's in a four rounder tonight. It's his first comeback after two and a half years out of the ring. He's um he's managed by my friend Lee. I know I've known Harley a long time outside. Is that the rematch before. with so Lee Hallett? No, nah, no, nah, not not this time. I, I, I think Harley would like that, but uh, Hallett just remember that night. That was all. He was better on the night, but I reckon if they rematch, Ben will beat him. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Lee Hallett's not to. Some of Lee Lee Hallett doing the road, doing the journeyman. Same because Lee Hallett's such a good boxer. Very, very good boxer. I mean, he knows his knows his way around the ring. I like Lee a lot. Um, even when Sonny fought him, I'm a bit, I feel a bit sour like because I do like Lee but on a personal level. I know him as well, and I, oh, Sonny was matching him. And I was a bit like, oh, for fuck's sake! But it is what it is. It's what you got to do. Yes. Is Sonny ready for his fight on the 16th? Oh, Sonny's more than ready. Sonny's been unbelievable during camp. Very, very good camp. Had some what? good spots. Very. Why is he fighting um, Chris Adderway? Because it's like a step down from Glover. That's what uh, that's what I thought. I wanted. Um, I suggested a few people to the matchmakers. Two of them winning, winning records. Um, one was eight and one, but the person turned it down. So I didn't get that fire in the future. Wait, what were you see um saying? Because I, I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry, mate. I said I'll, I I tried to I requested Sonny be matched with someone a bit better. I wanted Sonny to step up. Um we asked two people who I thought would give Sonny a good test. Um but I think Sonny would get out the other side, but they refused. So it's just oh. So is Sonny in a six rounder or a four round fight? Round. Is Sonny gonna get the stoppage? Uh that's what we're working for now. I said this and I said to Sonny, he's very fortunate to get a deal with Frank Warren. Um Let's show him what you've actually got. Like Sonny's had some good, very good fights, very old fights. He got a night, he dropped his guy last time. Um, he dropped Lee Glover with right hand. He dropped him um, twice. Um, listen, Sonny's got more in there. You know, I really believe Sonny can do something. Yes. I, I, re I reckon Sonny might stop Adaway if Adaway gets through tonight. Yeah, fingers crossed. I think you're right there. I do think you're right. That's why I'd be nice to have uh, Nathan's nice to Yeah. Uh, 
how did you like get into training? How was your birthday, by the way? Pardon? How did I get into how did I get into boxing training? Yeah. Um. So I I thought I still I only thought. I, Um, license level, um, um, but yeah, I'll just, I'll just, um, so my license shot, but I would call all my teammates first and then fight at the end. Oh, so do you enjoy training, uh, the boxes? I love it, but it's very, very stressful. I do love it, it's my passion. Oh. So how, how, who's like been your um, longest boxer that you've trained? Uh, Sonny and O'Hara. O'Hara's been with me for a long time, and Sonny as well. You've been with Sonny uh, for all of his fights, yeah? Fights, yeah. Sonny, D, Kate um, and Jordan have all debuted with me, stayed with me. What about Harley? Have you only started training him? Yeah, I've took on Harley the last month. Yes. Is there a way I can watch their fights tonight? I think there's a stream. Do you want me to? I think I'll send it over to you if you want. I'm sure it's live streamed. They had a deal with. Um, they're going to start doing shows on Sky as well. These ones are going to be on like a, a, a free channel that gets hired. But I will send you the stream. Yes, that'd be good, mate. Are you, ne next week, are you watching Chizura v Pulev? Yeah, I'll definitely be watching that. Chizura's, I think Chizura stops him. Early or late? Late. No, I think it'll be a bit of a slugfest. And Chizura get a bit of a second wind and then go at him again. Yes, Ho hopefully. Hopefully, yeah, exactly. Do you want Chizura to win? Yeah, I love Derek. I think Derek Chizura is a very good fighter. And he uh, he's just a good guy, a very nice guy. Yes. Scary, but very And do you think AJ, who, who wins, AJ or Usyk? Usyk. Stoppage? Um... No, because I don't think Usyk, I think Usyk's got to move more and more because they said AJ's going to try and close the gap a lot now. So Usyk's going to have to hit and go, hit and go. I think he'll be close, but um, I think Usyk will win. And, and then will, do you think he'll fight Fury? No, uh, I'll be very shocked if we see Fury again. In the ring. What, do you, even if AJ manages to win, do you not think Fury will come out? Come for that. I think you're right there, actually. I think you would come back for that. Yeah. I think if AJ wins, he'll come out of retirement. But if Usyk wins, I'm not sure. I was Fury, I would. Yeah, because he, he wants uh, to unify the division. Yeah, that's it. That's, uh, that's the, that's, it seems to be the, that's, that's the thing now, isn't it? To, get, to unify everything. Get everything on, uh, under, one, under one fighter. That's, that's everyone's goal now. Yes. And um, any any last like words? Uh, any? Do you want to shout out like anyone who's helped you get into training? Um, as always, my coach Jamie Williams taught me everything I know today. He's a good man, Jamie. He doesn't get um you know, like doesn't get the praise he deserves. Uh, my sponsors at the gym, um, Boss Waste, No Construction, um. National construction and flat finishes, they back me and make me uh, able to coach all these pros. Yes. Thank you uh, for thank your time and good luck with your fighters tonight. Uh, thank you, mate. And listen, like I said, you'll come in Sonny's fight, yeah? We're going to make sure I take you. Yes. I'll, right? I'll try to come, yes? No problem. And you're going to come walk out with them. Yes. Thank all you, right, mate. mate. Bye. Mate, see you later.